In ancient Greek mythology, the griffins were said to be the hounds of Zeus. Half eagle, half lion, the beasts have guarded great treasures throughout time. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to our Twitter spaces. Um, it's about 102 Eastern. We're going to get started in about a minute. Um, give everyone about 60 more seconds to get in here. Um, it's going to be an exciting space. Uh, this entire space is dedicated just to us. There's no um, external guests. There's no other projects joining us today. Um, I just want to get this chance to talk to the community, answer any questions that you may have um, publicly. We're going to record this space. It's already recording. Um, so everyone else in the community can listen to that um, playback. Um, just some updates for the week ahead. Our next space will be live Thursday from Miami. Um, I'll be walking around at Solana Hacker House in Miami, um, just talking to collections, meeting up with people I've been DMing on Twitter and seeing if we can create some partnerships there in person. Um, that will be live, as I said, so I'll be walking around on the street and seeing who I'm talking to. And maybe you guys can listen on that and, uh, and listen to some cool, cool projects uh, in Miami. But besides that, um, some more upcoming news, just uh, going to sound like a broken record player here by saying this, but we will be in Gainesville, Florida on the 22nd at the Student Showcase there at the Digital Worlds Institute, um, recruiting interns for the summer. That's the goal. We'll be tabling. Um, we're already signed up to be there, so people are well aware that our project will be present. So I'm hoping to get some, uh, some interest from some talented young minds um, over at that showcase. Now, uh, that's the news that we have for the next two weeks. Um, it's going to be more of the same, just investing. Uh, we did get a pump of sales that you guys noticed on Discord following uh, the moon roving space and following our first quarter airdrop, which is really exciting. So um, obviously some more griffins in the chat, some more investors, and um, some more obviously investments that we can make uh, with those funds. So we'll continue taking your input. We love seeing ideas in the investors uh, ideas channel. Um, so please toss those out. Any ideas you have of possible uh, investments, we'll be happy to look into. Um, I will preface this call by saying that I'm assuming we're going to get some calls about Austin's departure. Um, our former president who's retired uh, from Griffin, Austin uh, Kirkendall, he took up a job in asset management as a financial advisor. Um, legally, you cannot be a part of two um, financial firms at the same time. There's obviously uh, the competition problem there where you can actually advise you know, your clients at one company to invest in something and your other company you can advise not to or there's arbitrage opportunities. So it's, it's actually illegal to do that. So we, um, we've been talking about this. It's a great opportunity for him, um, you know, freshly out of college. You know, really, I'd be a poor partner to, um, to have an issue with him doing that. And, and so I'm supporting him 100% of the way. Uh, he will still, you know, be able to be around in the Discord. Um, he, can't, he can't advise us in any way um, legally. Um, he can't have equity in the company. So uh, what we've done is uh, he's given his shares to me. Um, I'm taking over as president. Again, my name is Matt Whitman. I'm the creative director and artist behind Griffins. Um, we also still have Noah. Uh, Noah, of course, is sticking around for the long term. He's our treasurer, and um, he's finishing up his finance degree. We also are onboarding some other financial analysts to the channel. Um, you saw a couple just joined us um, in the chat. So we're working on building out a, um, a really well-diversified investor's pool to give us advice um, as we go, you probably hear a dog in the background. Hey, Quincy, <laughs> you got a dog going. But anyway, I'm uh, happy to open the floor up to any questions. Um, you saw a couple just joined us um, in the chat. So we're working on building out a, um, a really panel. Um, you saw a couple just joined us um, in the chat. So we're working on building out a, um, a really well diversified investors pool to give us advice um, as we go. You probably hear a dog in the background. Hey, Quincy. <laughs> you got a dog going. But anyway, I'm, I'm uh, happy to open the floor up to any questions you may have, um, and I'll, I'll be here to answer any of them. So uh, I know we have a couple speakers here. This dog is ridiculous. They're doing a lot of construction outside. Um, we live in a new build, so he's going crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, Jason, I see your request. I'll go ahead and add you as a speaker. And uh, the floor is yours. Yep. Feel free. Uh, feel free whenever you're ready uh, to uh, unmute yourself, ask any question you, you have. I'll be happy to answer. Hey, Matt. 
Sorry about that. Talking on mute. They call that an occupational hazard uh, nowadays. Anyway, sorry to hear that Austin had left, but coming from uh, an IT security background, working in the banking industry, I understand the regulation, the heavy regulation around um, his role. So uh, unfortunate as it was for us as a community, uh, that is why it is considered a com uh, community kind of investing group, right? That's what a DAO is about. So uh, still very pumped and hyped about some of the advice and some of the stuff that people have been putting out there. I'm pretty sure we as a community will uh, continue to uh, grow our financial assets as time goes on and all collectively uh, earn money along the way. So just my two yeah, cents. It's, um... Well, no, I, I appreciate that. And um, I appreciate you having the same positive outlook that we have. I mean, really, really, the structure doesn't change. Um, the strategy doesn't change. We have it pretty clearly laid out in our white paper, um, what type of investment we're looking to do. And that isn't reliant on one, you know, per se, genius. Uh, I'm not saying Austin's a genius. I think he's really uh, intelligent. I think his investment strategy is, you know, what we have on paper and we're going to follow it. Uh, but it's not just him, right? We've been building this out with Noah. Noah's still with us as our treasurer. Um, and our community, I think, is so well versed at this point. I was watching um, uh, Dave in uh, several Alpha Discord channels. He was talking about Griffin for us, and you know, it was, it was amazing. He sent me some screenshots. He was talking to some other people, and really, it just sounded like it was either Austin or talking. Like it's, it's. He really adopted the um, the strategy and the verbiage. So, I mean, that's great to see that people are really catching on to what we're trying to do here, which is community value investing. Um, and that doesn't rely on one person. Obviously, the founders are here to facilitate growth. Um, we're here to connect this project with other projects, with useful um, that add more value to us. But really, we rely on the community um, knowledge and community ideas to make these investments. Then we'll use our expertise in the background to try to siphon them, right? Make sure we're not overexposed in one sector or the other uh, because we are an investment fund. We're not a hedge fund. We're not hedging into one area with very risky investments. Um, this is more of like year year over year returns, like long term. Um, but yeah, no, I appreciate your insight on that. Um, and like I said, it is it is a legal issue. So, you know, it's not like we can ignore the fact that uh, we'd be breaking laws if he stuck around. And also, it's just, you know, the best thing for him. Um, it's a great opportunity that he that he ran into. And uh, he's still going to support us in the background. But, you know, legally, he can't be an equity stakeholder. Right. So, um yeah, I'm happy to answer any other questions. Uh, I see Marcelo up here. I see Billy Goat. Uh, we got Barry. We got Holiday. So uh, if anyone has a question, you feel free to request the mic. Um, I'll hand it to you and uh, and do my best to answer. But um, while we're waiting for anyone to request, do have uh, you know some cool news too. I mean, we have a um, financial analyst from uh, the Misfits Collection who's joined their Discord. So he he's actually a legitimate financial analyst out in Dubai. Um, was really interested in our project the last time we talked. I think we spoke to the Misfits Collection about two weeks ago. Uh, he loved the idea, so he's joined us on Discord, and he'll be adding his you know, advice in the financial uh, kind of realm, our investments ideas channel, um, as it comes, right? So if we bring up ideas, he's happy to chime in. And that's kind of the goal here is I'm, I'm actively reaching out on Twitter to financial analysts and advisors and seeing you know, if they'd like to join our Discord. We want to be a center for knowledge, so just alpha sharing that's a great term that we use in the community in the space um, we want to be a place that you're happy to turn to i know noah um, has dropped a uh, medium article he did a write-up on barrick gold uh, that i'll be dropping on on medium if it didn't drop yesterday it's probably gonna drop today i'll have to check in with him on that but he has another article coming out next week so we're just going to keep, keep doing more of that and providing a place for um, analysts and, and people interested in investing to share their ideas but uh, yeah if anyone has any any more questions? Um, happy to happy to answer. Hey, so I'll just jump on. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty familiar with the project, having been with everyone uh, the last few weeks. I think it'd be great um, just to run it down. I guess for anybody who who hops on or listens to the recording, um, just want to hear your take on what are the future plans with Griffin Dow or um, a little bit on the roadmap. Just want to hear um, the direction of where you want to take things with this. Sure. No, that's a great point, Marcelo. And um, yeah, Marcelo is one of our demigods out there on Discord. Um, he's like the first contact to anyone new in the channel. So you've been you've been doing a great job sharing uh, news about Griffin and keeping involved and engaged. So I really appreciate the work you're doing on, on our Discord and on Twitter. But um, 
you know, quick rundown. Uh, we are a community investment fund. We aggregate all revenues into a community treasury that is owned by our DAO. Um, each Griffin in its metadata has 12 treasury shares in that DAO. Um, of course, the collection is 10,000 pieces, so there will never be more than 120,000 shares of uh, Griffins. So the benefit of holding a Griffin is you have that small ownership of the DAO, and that allows you the right to make um, suggestions about what investments we'd like to make. Um, using that treasury, we into mainly X. Um, that means like stocks and bonds, um, traditional investing. That's our background. That's our focus. But we will have a small percentage of the fund dedicated to blockchain technologies, cryptocurrencies. Uh, we do see there's a huge growth potential in those. So, you know, we're not we're not ignorant to them and we will be open and uh, open to and currently investing in. Uh, we still are holding a um, good amount of soul. Um, we got out of soul about two weeks ago um, and a large percentage to start investing into equities. So we, we moved that into fiat currency and um, and bought a series of equities, a series of stocks. And um, each quarter we do a quarterly airdrop to our holders based on our earnings. We do reports, uh, treasury reports monthly, quarterly, and annually. At this point, we've done three monthly reports and one quarterly report. Uh, we've already completed our first airdrop where every Griffin holder received 0 0.04 soul. Um, so that's an exciting thing. And that's something that that is, that's basically put a bow on our entire structure. Um, it's a not a complicated idea, which I think is being overlooked um, in the space. And I think we're actually ahead of the curve um, in terms of the style of, of an NFT project. Um, yeah, our system is very simple. Uh, you buy a Griffin and you buy an NFT and we use those currencies to invest into many different things, but mainly equities. Um, and then we reward, we reward our holders based on our earnings. So this system and, and uh, the great question you, you had is, is, can you explain a little bit of our roadmap? We kind of are like cyclical in terms of each quarter, the roadmap almost refreshes itself. Um, at the point of selling out or when we wrap up this collection, the Griffin collection, which is May 31st. So if we don't sell out by May 31st, we'll, we'll burn the remainder of the collection, uh, which actually benefits Griffin holders because that makes these exceptionally more rare than they would have been. Um, obviously, we're going to work towards selling out, but this this 10,000 number is almost like a max capacity. Like That's the total amount we would sell, but it doesn't mean we have to reach that. Like I said, we're operational on day one. If we sold one of these things, we'd be operational, but um, you know, happily, we've sold more than that. Um, after May 31st, I'm going to take some time uh, myself to try to figure out whether we want to bring on a different artist or we can use some of my own work again and come out with a second collection. Um, and that second collection would hold about anywhere between nine to 10 shares instead of the 12 shares it has um, per NFT. And, uh, you know, with each collection, the treasury grows, we invest more and the value of the NFTs increases with our investments because you actually own a part of that DAO. So, um, yeah, it, it's very exciting. I think, think of another value add, and we were just on Moon Roving's uh, podcast, uh, The Lit Late Show, last week. That recording is on our Discord under Twitter Spaces and under JMJ Podcast. Um, just a quick reminder, we turn all our recorded Twitter Spaces into podcasts that we put up on YouTube. Um, and we also we also keep them on our Discord, so that'd be easy easy place for you to find them. Um, but a good point Moon Roving had, we asked him for some advice after the uh, space ended, um, was what what more can we do you know, to try to let people know how that we add, because obviously we, we have a real service here. We're providing a real community investment fund um, that provides value in, in many ways through our investments, through our community ideas, the, the alpha we provide and um, and, you know, the real returns that we provide quarterly. But um, besides that, how do we convince people who, you know, many people in the space are looking for two X in a week or some unrealistic return? Um, that they may see occasionally, but it's not going to be a consistent uh, consistent thing out there for the long term. Um, how do we convince them that we're providing real value? Uh, he, had, he had a good point. We have to consider the value add. Um, what what else, what other services are we providing? If we're a service-based space, service-based project, which we see ourselves as providing a service, what more can we do? So um, there's, there's several things that I'm looking into now. Um, there's a collection. Uh, I won't name the name yet because we're still in talks with them. Um, and they will be in Miami. So I'm hoping to talk to them in person there. Uh, they provide tools for investing. Um, and some of those tools are comparing what one owner has in their wallet and what one owner may want to get. So let's say that you own a Griffin and this Griffin owner also owns a space goat. So someone can see that like 50% of Griffin holders also own space goats. So maybe I want to also get into space goats. And you can also see your possible returns there um, based on wallets. So it's a really cool service. And if there's some way that we can make a deal 
where we incorporate this into our Discord or for Griffin holders, um, this is something that we want to do, right? We want to continue providing our Griffin holders and our future holders of other collections with services that make investing better for them, that make, make, make better investments and provide more returns for them. So I see that as our roadmap now. I see us just increasing our service um, utility. And, um, and there's a lot of great projects in the space. There's a lot of people doing really innovative things. Um, and this collection that I just, I'm, I'm talking about now, uh, I'll be happy to name names Thursday when I'm in Miami. Um, the goal is to talk to them. As I said, in person, we're already talking on, on Twitter and in, in the DMS. So we're trying to figure out a legitimate time where we can meet in person and figure this out. But yeah, I mean, we have some funds to play with now. The problem at the beginning was, yes, we were operational day one, the first Griffin sold, we began our operations, but we didn't have the, the cash on hand, right. To buy these services, to integrate services, to hire developers, to integrate services um, into our Discord or into our Griffins. But now we have a little bit more to play with. And as we go along the path, right, there's more that we can provide utility-wise. But I really think our, our biggest utility still is the investment side, the community investing. Um, so I hope that answered your question. I know that was a little long-winded, but obviously there's, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background, um, building out utility for you guys um, besides just the investing. Because um, I think, like I said, this is my final point on this. The biggest value add we have is the community investment side. And, and there's tons of asset management firms out there in the United States alone that this is all they do is they manage funds and they make wealth for their communities. They hold, they, they, they retain wealth, which is more of a conservative uh, viewpoint on asset management. But of course, they want to grow wealth. And that's enough for people. Like a lot of people make, you know, very, very nice livings off doing this, this. But in the NFT space, there's a lot of people demanding, you know, more utility, more use cases, um, more value add. And we understand that. Um, and, and also, that's not wrong. You know, you, the, the first rule of marketing is you don't blame your customer for wanting something. Uh, you, you, may, you may not be looking at it in the right lens. So um, I've personally taken a step back and tried to check my ego out the door and say, yes, I think we are providing a great service. But, you know, maybe there's more that we can do. So that's what we're looking into and we're going to continue looking into. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. Like I said, Thursday through Saturday, I'll be in Miami. And the, the entire goal of my trip there is make partnerships, bring more utility to you guys. So um, thanks for that question, Marcelo. Uh, if there's any other questions, happy to happy to answer them. I know we got Barry, we got Holiday, we got Billy, we got Jason. So I want to, uh, this is Jason. I want to enter into the artist contest. Um, I'm going to uh, put, submit my samples for poop-inspired finger painting, and I think that would make a great, great art collection. Uh, on a serious note, uh, I've, I've kind of done this before. Um, so as a team, as a group of people, whether we're invested in or minted in the DAO, getting more people to mint would ultimately give us obviously more on returns based on the growth of the investment portfolio. So it is important to keep pushing, even though rarity sounds like a great concept uh, to own a smaller piece of the art. But as a group, we have to look big picture. The more money we have in the bank means more money to grow and to see those exponential growths. So I would continue to push along the lines with everybody in the Discord channel uh, to keep gaining as many people, adding more shares, because obviously it'll give us much more flexibility, better tool sets, as you were talking about, Matt, better tool sets to uh, use to grow more. So we have to keep investing. Otherwise, if we don't, we're going to see a slower growth rate as a group. That's just some thoughts there, keeping people motivated, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. And um, I mean, you're totally right. Um, it's I mean, the best way to earn value for the community is to sell out the collection. Um, that's that's still number one. I mean, we, we have basically the way I think about it is we have uh, merchandise on a shelf. Um, we have this collection of 10,000 pieces and each one selling for one soul. You know, if we were to sell that out, what is that? What is sold out right now? Like 130 around it's around like 124, I think. You know, that's like $1.2 million right there in our treasury fund, which we can invest. And, uh, you know, there's a law, there's a law with like funds, like the more you have, the more you seem to earn. Um, 
and that that happens to be and that's not just with money that's just resources that's everywhere in the world that that law tends to be true so you know there's there'd be more to play with of course um in the investment side and i I still think that's the right thing to do is to push that that sales aspect um and that's one of one of the things i'm going to be doing um in miami when i'm talking to other collections is uh you know trying to you know try to sell us as as not just you know, a personal investment thing. But if you're a large collection, you want to provide quarterly kind of gifts to your community. Well, you should hold some Griffins because we're not as risky. We have a pretty consistent return rate. So if you want to, you want to provide some small reward to your community on a quarterly basis, why don't you hold some Griffins and pay out those returns to your communities? Um, I think that's a pr- pretty big sales um, sales kind of targeting point as well. On the poop painting side, a hundred percent behind that. I think that'd be a really unique collection. Um, I would love to see some, some smeared art, uh, in the NFT space. I think that's undervalued, but no, I mean, that's, that's, that's of course, number one is selling the collection. Um, number two is providing the the additional services, but I think we can stagger these things. Um, we can't hammer, can't hammer sales day in, day out. Um, we have to of course be a service first and, um, and then try to track people that way and, and, uh, motivate, you know, internal sales as well. Um, some alpha on our end. I am working with a different artist right now for a small collection. I, I again, don't want to name the name yet. Um, this artist happens to be in Ukraine, actually. So um, we would be doing this as part of a donation uh, project. So I will keep you guys surprised on that. But I think there's there's smaller things we do along the way as well um, to try to add more value and also give back. Uh, one of the reasons that we started this thing is we did want to have some funds to donate. Um, and our, our original roadmap uh, I think it was at 15% or 20%. We had a, um, a, a planned donation. So, you know, that's, that's still on map. That's still something we would do at that point. But I think there's other things we can do along the way, other projects and, and artists we can partner with um, to try to create value and add back to the treasury. Because again, everything we do goes straight back to the treasury um, and benefits holders. So, so yeah, that's a great point. Um, uh, we'll encourage you guys. We are about almost 30 minutes in here. Um, I'll take a couple more questions and we can probably wrap it up, but, uh, feel free to retweet this space. Um, you know, uh, go ahead and you can quote, tweet, quote, tweet our space, uh, announcement on Twitter and see if we can get any more people in here uh, in the last 10 minutes or so. But, um, yeah, it's been really nice to, to take these questions. Uh, like I said, maybe five to 10 minutes more, but, um, won't be that much longer. I think this is just a great opportunity to answer questions, especially after, um, the announcement that we had this past Saturday, um, Austin having to, uh, retire from his position and um, and me being promoted to president of Griffin Investments Dow. But as I said, we're still growing. Um, nothing changes. The investment strategy stays the same. And uh, I'm happy to take any other questions um, you have. Otherwise, we can we can go ahead and probably wrap it up. Yeah, I'll hop in. Um, do you guys hear me? Yeah, we got you. Okay, cool. Um, no, I was just going to say I found it really cool how um... – the arts, how uh, you're really involved, uh, how it's really all designed by yourself. Maybe if you could just tell us a little bit about that, um, inspired you, or like maybe a little bit on, on uh, yeah, uh, how long you've been doing making art for and stuff. It's pretty cool that uh, you're the one that put a lot of the pieces together. Well, yeah, I, I sometimes I sometimes forget I'm also the artist here. Um, I haven't <laughs> I haven't touched the uh, the art side for about um, I don't know three months. Um, just been pure marketing pure creative director brain, which really is a different half of the brain. Um, it's funny. I go to these different uh, like art shows and I've talked to artists that are boothing next to me and, and we all have the same, the same uh, concept. Like when you're painting, when you're creating, you have this different brain and you have to be able to wear a different hat when you're trying to sell your art. Uh, you have to become like a different person. Um, it's a very strange transition to make. I tend to see that one, I shave my beard when I'm, creative director mode i cut my hair i wear nicer clothing doesn't have holes in it and then when i'm painting i look like a bum um and i think there is there is something real about that transition it's it feels very different but yeah to go into the art side um i i've been painting for about 13 years now started off doing landscapes the bob ross style landscapes that you've probably seen on pbs they're first first and foremost they were quick to do i think that's why i started doing them you do a painting in 30 minutes and it actually looked really nice. That was uh, one of the attractive things about it. Going forward, I wanted to do something that was a little bit more meaningful. So I started touching on to abstract paintings, um, surrealist paintings. My first of which 
I post it up on Discord. It's a painting called Four Seasons, which is just a tree with the four different seasons that it's gone through all in one painting. And it's a, it's almost like a piecemeal type of painting. And then uh, I've gone forward over time and kind of stretched my limits recently got into portrait painting with a mix of surrealism. Again, that painting is on our discord channel. It's also posted on Twitter. If you go through our medium or our uh, media um, link, you can go ahead and find that. But the reason I got into painting uh, more surrealist stuff, which is what I generally would like to do more now is you can express ideas through, surrealism that don't require words and mean different things to different people. And, and it's such a, it's such a time where it, it, it feels almost like you're, you're walking a fine line in almost every conversation you have. People have very uh, strict ideas and opinions that it's very hard to change someone's mind with your words. But sometimes with paintings, you can look at it for days on end and, and not get, you know, the correct observation that the artist had but it's correct to you it means something to you and it's a very personal connection so um i think that's the cool thing about painting is you really can um convey very different ideas to very different people and they all can connect on the same piece that's one of the reasons i paint today uh with the griffin collection the griffins uh, so all the backgrounds are my original backgrounds they look like paintings they are they're my original oil paintings if they look digital they're my original digital paintings um the Griffins themselves, we picked the Griffin character because uh, one of the things that all the founders have in common is we, we all love these like stoic classics. We love Socrates. We love Aristotle, uh, all those, all the writings by them, the meditations, uh, writings, they, they mean a lot. They're not really religious. Um, they're not really spiritual. They're more like pragmatic things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis to make better decisions. Um, and in a world where it feels like people are making the wrong decisions or making decisions for the wrong reasons, it, it carries a lot of weight. So we all kind of, you know, connected on that idea. Uh, beyond that, the Greeks and the Romans, they all kind of believed in that stoic uh, philosophy as well. And, and the final point behind the griffin is uh, in mythology, the griffin was the hound of Zeus, right? So the griffin guarded great treasures for the, for the wealthy. Um, the, the god Plutus was the god of wealth and his basically warriors, the griffins. So we picked this character to basically symbolize, you know, we're guarding your wealth. We're not taking it as a um, as a hedge fund and risking it on uh, crazy plays. We are taking your wealth and then we're investing it over a long term in value and valued companies over the long term that provide uh, more consistent returns than we see these other collections in the Twitter space. Um, I hope that explains a little bit behind the art. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. So no other votes on poop based finger painting. No, you got my vote, and, and my vote carries a little bit more now uh, as an equity stakeholder. I think we're going to go ahead and we'll opt for that second collection. <laughs> you got my vote. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, we got Marcelo's vote, too. Heck, yeah. Okay. Well, it's pretty easy. I'll just I'll just scan your, your poop smears on Canvas, and then we'll drop a collection. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be great. I can see it selling out uh, pretty instantly. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, the future collections, it really doesn't have to look like what I do. Uh, we the cool thing is we met so many artists uh, over the over the past two months or so since we started, so we have some connections that are already formed. And really, all it would take is uh, reaching out and you know getting a deal together. Uh, one of the cool things with Space Goats is they have Fluxus, this is their art entity. They have a bunch of artists attached to that already. So if we were to look for an artist, I think that'd be one of the first places we go. Um, I'm happy to do a second collection. It would be a, actually a pleasure to switch my brain back and start looking homeless again to uh, get back to some art creation. But, um, you know, we're open to we're open to a bunch of different ideas in terms of our, our, our next one. But, yeah, we're going to work on focusing all our energy into selling out the Griffin collection first. Um, that's a dog in the background and uh, and keep building out utility. And that's that's our you know, that's a pinpoint focus. That's all we're thinking about day in, day out. And if we don't have any other questions, um, I'll probably wrap it up here. I'll give you guys a chance. If not, if not, we'll close it out. Thank you guys for being here. Um, thank you, Jason, for the questions on the investment end, on the suggestions for the next poop inspired collection. We'll, we'll do a, we'll do some polling maybe in the discord about that. Uh, appreciate Marcelo for asking questions. Also helping me remember I'm also an artist. So to dive into um, a little bit of the art background, thank you for doing that. Billy holiday, Barry, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for sharing the space. If you haven't already, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, we appreciate you guys retweeting this recording when we wrap it up. 
And we'll be back Thursday, as I said, live from Miami, Solana Hacker House, talking to collections that I've been reaching out to on Twitter. And um, who knows, maybe we'll have a surprise guest that you guys all know by name. Uh, maybe he'll join us in Miami because I think that's still allowed. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And we will talk again soon in Discord. Oh, bye. All right. See you guys later. Take care, bye. guys. Griffin Investments DAO. Join the path on Discord.